American enrichment ideas for your coop. I enjoy seeing how curious and active my hens are. They're always responding to the sights and the sounds around them. They're watching things in the garden throughout the changing seasons, exploring, um, watching my family carefully. I feel like similar to my young children, my hens are most content when they've had like a varied week of different activities that have kept them really busy. The opposite of my content hens is if they're pecking at each other, pacing back and forth, or squawking anxiously. Here are some simple ideas that are working for us to keep the hens happy while they're cooped up 24-7 in their coop because of the avian flu lockdown that we currently have in the United Kingdom. So what we've tried to do is bring all the nice things they like about being in our garden, in those experiences, into the coop as best we can, as well as some other little things to keep them busy. Enrichment means simply positive activities to engage your hens with normal behavior and positive behaviors. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Beth from Garden City Chickens. If you haven't been with me before, I weekly make a video and write a blog post about my little flock of hens that I keep in my small garden in the United Kingdom. We've got lots of perches. It increases the vertical space, it challenges their agility, going back and forth, scooting along, and it gives hens lower in the pecking order a place to retreat to up high. <laughs> ladder, a mini ladder between two perches, and that's another fun thing to challenge their agility, kind of scurrying up, <laughs> kind of flapping down it. Loose ground cover, so it allows the hens to dig and scratch at the ground. Dust dry ground for chicken and dirt baths. The original coop's ground litter is dust dry, and that's really great for their bathing. And then the extensions ground litter ranges from damp to dry, and that's more impacted by the weather. Hanging vegetables and fruit, which is a good outlet for their um, normal pecking behavior. So maybe they can get all their pecking out on this and not on their other feathered friends. And they're also motivated to jump up and to peck at it and stretch up their necks. And this tires them out, get some of their energy out of them. Hanging seed feeder, we make them work at getting some treats out of um, a homemade seed feeder we made and another way to help pass the time. Scatter feed, searching and scratching for food is another positive use of their energy. Scrambled eggs, a protein enriched, enriched treat which is helpful for hens who are in a molt or under stress. Myrrh, our, our hens enjoy sitting next to and looking into this long four-foot myrrh, and it might be because they think it's other members of their flock and feel comfortable hanging out <laughs> next to someone in the that they see in the reflection. CD Mobile, I created one out of some old CDs that we barely <laughs> use anymore, for who burns CDs anymore, we don't. The hens are visually stimulated by the colors and the movements. Move it all around. These things are used in Rhoda and put in different places to keep things interesting. Hang out with the hens. My family's presence in the garden or the, my, you know, our presence in the coop while we're cleaning it out daily, that's stimulating for the hens, watching us, seeing our movements, hearing our sounds. Sometimes we don't really think of that as being like chicken enrichment, but it is. They really enjoy seeing us people. <laughs> for the most part, my hens have a varied space in our garden that they get to roam out and explore. Um, they have access to our rear garden uh, all day, and then they go back in their coop at night and we lock them up. Uh, currently, we're in a different situation, though. The United Kingdom has had a avian flu outbreak, and so all poultry have to remain housed until further notice. So I'm our hens now have been cooped up in their home and their new extension since December 2020. And I'm hoping that they're going to be out of this, you know, before summer. <laughs> Maybe I'm being um, optimistic, <laughs> but you can only hope. 
lockdown has new meaning for all of us since going through our COVID um, outbreak pandemic. So it's not a far stretch to understand while, why the avian flu lockdown is also important. I've made another video about that and I'll put a link to that in the description below. I've been trying to keep things interesting for my hens in their chicken coop. It's been a hard transition for them and, and me emotionally as well for them because they used to have access to our rear garden, you know, all day and now they have to be in their coop 24-7. It's only a small fenced in rear garden, about 130 meters squared or 1400 um, feet squared. It's small, but it was theirs to roam. Another concern was the coop. And I mean, don't get me wrong, our, our hens have it good and they're space efficient chicken coop, but we didn't intend it for 24 seven living like they have now in lockdown. So before lockdown started, we did build a chicken coop extension and I created another video that you can watch if you're interested. The link will be in the description below. And it talks just about the considerations in making an extension for your coop. What enrichment have you tried with your flock? Feel free to comment below or send me a message. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye. <laughs>